Android 4.3 gets leaked on the Google Nexus 4. Google's second generation Nexus 7 gets leaked on photos and video. And the HTC One Mini gets announced even though there is some compromise. I'm Jaime Rivera. And if my Darth Vader tone pops up at any time, uh, that's because I have a massive cold. But this is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some odd and interesting announcements as LG has just sent out press notifications confirming that their flagship smartphones are now going to be called just G's and their flagship tablets, which they don't have any, are going to be called the Views. And so that means that they're dropping the Optimus moniker and from now on they even confirmed that their future flagship smartphone will be the G2. Uh, imagine that, the LG G2. Uh, LG G2. Uh, that's going to be the name of their next smartphone and whatever the name of their future tablet could be. But anyway, stay tuned as their event is scheduled soon and we'll probably see the phone by then. And speaking of LG, we've got some leaked photographs of the Google Nexus 4 running on Android 4.3, a near final build, but uh, that was pretty much it. There's just a photo that shows that the version's out there, ready to be announced pretty much next week in the Google event, but we still don't have any specifics as to what the enhancements are for this future version of Android, so stay tuned to our live coverage. And speaking of Google's event next week, the successor to the Nexus 7 was shown off on video in some leaked photographs, and even though the video is sadly not available anymore for us to show to you, um, it looks a lot like the current generation Nexus 7, only that the back is now flat instead of rubbery, or it probably could be rubbery, but it doesn't have any texture like the current generation Nexus 7. It's still to be expected as to what we will be getting on this tablet, but most likely, again, it looks like a finished product, so expect it next week. Apple is up next as I really wasn't a believer of their fingerprint scanning leaks recently, but the company has just filed a patent that's making me a believer. They're actually not planning on adding this to the home button or to a specific button on the device. They're actually working on making the full display a fingerprint scanner. And the question is if Apple is planning on new security features that would allow you and only you to control your iPhone. Uh, stay tuned on that one. Let's see how that goes. And finally for the meh news of the day, HTC has just announced their HTC One Mini, which we've been expecting as the smaller version of the HTC One, meaning a smaller phone with every single spec on the list, and sadly that's not the case. You know, their sales representative was very nice at saying that this is a non-compromise experience, but then again you get the same phone without optical image stabilization, so it begs to wonder how that camera is going to perform at 4 megapixels. And then we also get no NFC. Uh, we get a much smaller everything, no expandable storage and only 16 gigs of storage, no IR blaster. Um, this is pretty much a crop down pretty phone. It is a very beautiful device, but it's sadly uh, not an HTC One at all. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. If you had to pick between the HTC One Mini and the HTC One, which one would you get? In my case, honestly, I'd stick to the HTC One for the price difference. It's not really worth it, but leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.